Hey everyone, Scott here, better known as Norebo, and today I am going to draw the new Korean Air livery. Yes, the one that's all the hot topic at the moment. At, the, at least at the time of this recording, it is March 2025. This livery just came out, and uh, either you love it or you hate it. And actually, now that I've seen it in bright sunlight, I think I love it. This is a really nice design. It's a really good evolution, or a very classy evolution of the previous livery. So yeah, let's just, I'm gonna show you how I illustrated this. I've got my, my Boeing 787 template here. I've imported the, the all white version into Adobe Illustrator, and I'm just trying to, I'm not tracing anything. I'm just looking at <laughs> very grainy, very small, reference photos and again this livery just came out there are very few reference photos of this thing really the only thing at the time of this video is the 78710 so i'm just using the the unveiling photos and some official korean air photos as a guide here there's nothing to trace yet which is fine because i don't normally trace at least it, for these simple airline liveries i don't normally trace anything unless it's complex and I'm not going to do it with this one, except for these new titles. Okay, so I think this is where there's a lot of controversy. They've gone completely away from the traditional Korean-style typeface, and they've gone with something a lot more simple, something sans serif. Uh, it's a custom typeface, obviously. I don't think this is something they just pulled off the shelf and uh, claimed it as their own. <laughs> they actually they created this font. This is their own typeface. And personally, I like this. It's very clean. It's very simple. And one of the reasons why I like this is because it's it allows them to place this larger on the aircraft, which I'll show you in a moment as I as I place it on there. Uh, they're getting rid of the the air in Korean Air, so now it's just Korean. So now that they can just put Korean on the side of the aircraft, much larger, it's much easier to read, and I think that's a good thing. And you'll see that in a moment. But right now, I'm just recreating the titles here so I can put it on my illustration. This was a relatively simple thing to trace. It's a very simple font. Again, like I said, sans serif. And if you look at the end of the, the R and the K and the A there, there's those little just slight arcs at the, at, the end of the, at the end of the letters at the very bottom. Just small little details like that, which makes it a very, very classy, very clean typeface. And I think when you look at the whole livery and you, you get all the elements together and you, you look at the metallic paint and then the arcs on the livery itself and these subtle arcs on the typeface, it's all those little details that all together make for a really nice, clean, classy design. And I know there's some of you listening to this right now that are like, <laughs> Scott, you're crazy. This is a terrible livery. I don't like this. They've... They've lost their mind, and I don't know what they're doing, but I like it. One thing that I maybe I don't like so much is they've simplified the the their, their logo here. And as I'm, I'm trying to recreate this, I'm trying. This is a very complex logo to make. So they've got rid of the colors. As you recall, it used to be filled. There was a white background, and then there was the blue and the red that made up this logo, and the, the yin and yang thing, the blue and the red. Now it's gone. Now it's just all one color, monochrome. And not only that, there are no, there's no fills or outlines to this logo. It's, it's much simpler. And now there's, there's negative space. Like, it's really hard to describe unless you're looking at the two logos side by side. But this is a much simpler version of it. And I don't know, maybe, maybe it's too simple. I would have liked to see some red in here somewhere, even if it was just in the logo, kind of like how the old livery was, where the, the red color, that was the only part of the entire livery where there was red. That was fine. It looked good. I wish they would have done that here, but it's not that bad. And I guess the only other thing that I can say about this, this logo as I'm illustrating it here, I don't know, even there's just something about it that that looks a little bit off to me. It, it's a little bit, it's hard to describe. I, I don't, if it were me, I would have actually stylized this logo a little bit differently. 
it looks a little bit unbalanced. And you get this little pinch right here in the center as I'm trying to put these two pieces together. I don't like that as a designer. It just, there's something about that that, I don't know. I All I'm saying is that I think I would have tried to do something a little bit different there. I would have tried to maybe smooth that out and made it look not so pinched. It's not something you're going to notice when it's on the livery. Uh, you'll see that in a moment as I'm putting everything together. But here on its own, just looking at it by itself, I don't like the way it, I don't know. It's just, it's just too pinched in my opinion, but I don't want to dwell on that too much. Okay, so now we're back in Photoshop. I've found another reference photo. This is the, the thumbnail actually from YouTube right there that I'm going to use as my guide to get all these elements placed correctly because I don't really have, I mean, that's really the only photo that I have at this moment. So it's a grainy photo, <laughs> it's dark, and the colors aren't totally accurate, but I'm doing my best here with, with what I have. So I'm getting everything placed. And with my PSD templates, I can, I can remove the elements like the wing and the engines and everything just to get all of that out of the way so I can just focus on getting the delivery placed exactly how it needs to be placed on the aircraft. So... It's looking a lot like KLM, though, isn't it? It's it's the KLM livery. If you take Korean Air or the, the Korean titles away and that logo on the tail, you might think that I was illustrating a, a KLM 78710. But nope, this is Korean Air. And here, I've got my old Korean Air livery illustration up as a background. I'm stealing some elements from it, like the, the, the flag and the, other, the, the, the registration numbers and, and that sort of thing. But you can see the difference in color. This is a this new livery is a much deeper, richer blue. It's no longer that powder blue. And hopefully, I don't know if you've seen any Korean air aircraft in person recently, but that powder blue did not do well in bright sunlight. The, the, the aircraft now are all faded and it, it's like a like a chalky powder blue. I mean, it looks <laughs> it looks powder blue because of all the fading. And I hope this new blue doesn't do that. Because if it does, I don't know, it just makes it look pretty cheap. But this is a metallic blue, and I'm going to add the sheen here in a moment, and you can see, you'll be able to see how it just pops. Uh, there I go. I'm just, I'm adding a little bit of sheen right down, right down the middle of that, right underneath the windows, just to give it a little bit of that metallic look, which is kind of hard to do in Photoshop. You just take a lighter blue, and you just, you just, take a like a medium-sized brush and you just go right down the side of the fuselage and it's just a it's an illusion it's all smoke and mirrors and then once I get that gloss over top of it it'll look pretty good and like I said this aircraft in bright sunlight now that I've seen it it's nice I, I'm liking it quite a bit so I know there's a lot of people who just still they think this is the wrong direction for Korean Air and I don't know I disagree Especially now that I'm trying to get the, the gloss on there, just the reflections and, and everything down the, the side of the fuselage, and you can see it all coming together. I mean, once once you get this thing reflecting and <laughs> doing all that stuff it does in bright sunlight, it looks good. And I, I think this is one of those liveries you're just going to need to see in person. Give it a little bit of time. It's going to look good. Yes, it's simple. Yes, it looks a lot like KLM, but... It's clean. It, it's better than an all white or a Euro white livery where it's where the fuselage is mostly white and they just add a small splash of color somewhere. Uh, this is much better than that. I, I applaud them for sticking with the blue. Uh, that is the Korean air color. And um, yeah, this is this is a great livery in my opinion. Is it perfect? No. Is it the best livery I've ever seen? No. But I do like how simple it is, and I think it's going to work well for them as time goes on. So, what do you think? Drop your thoughts down in the comment section below, and uh, yeah, we can discuss it. Politely, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.